be or far from home I know you'll never be alone Cause a family is all you need Even if it's just you and me Hi there, this time I just want to share with you another tutorial Camtasia Studio tutorial and it's all about zoom and pan so first off is load your video, in my case it's my intro go to zoom and pan and then you'll have your preview here so this is our zoom and pan window so let's say we play our intro okay let's say I want to zoom in on my name here so I'm just going to add a keyframe so you click this button add a new keyframe select that so it's zoom one so for zoom resize that and here so we can zoom in on my neck like so and you have a preview here of what's going on and let's play again okay this time I want to go full screen so add another keyframe then select full screen the blue button here like so and play so let's add another one going to resize it again like so you can also delete um, your keyframes if you're not satisfied with um, any of your keyframes let's say I'm not satisfied with zoom 3 you can delete that using this um, button so remove the selected keyframe yes and boom you can also um, scale so but you can do that using your mouse so it's more accurate like so you can also um, alter the duration so you, you can see that so if you want to go slower you can see it in your zoom track here on your timeline as well and you can also get the zoom speed here so we have 2.5 seconds like so so other buttons here, um, you can apply smart focus if you're too lazy to add your own zoom and pan or if you just want to, you know, save your time, then you can do that and Camtasia will automatically add a zoom and pan for your video. But I do my own zoom and pan, so anyway, we also have some options here. So if you click that, so we have the duration, apply zoom and pan hits hence so it's easier for you to edit your zoom and pan so you can also limit the dimensions and you can also show the zoom rectangles the green one in your preview so I'll just hit OK so we have advanced options as well so in this um, area we have we can define the X coordinate and the Y coordinate so if you want to um, input values there you can do that and also for our width and height which is particularly the size of our zoom rectangle which is particularly the size of our zoom rectangle so you can also edit that you can also because as you can see as I am resizing here um, it maintains its ratio so if you want to um, change the ratio you can also do that so so you can uh, uncheck the maintain aspect ratio and now you can do um, a different uh, shape depends on you and how you want to zoom in on your video like so okay so if you're done with your settings hit finished and you have your own video with zoom in and zoom out um, marks so let's have a preview of that
Okay, so you had seen in my videos the rectangle, the green rectangle, which is actually the zoom hints. So as we edit our zoom in and zoom out, well, yeah, actually I have this green rectangle for easy editing. So if you don't want that to be um, visible in your videos, all you need to do is again go to zoom and pan, go to open zoom options, and then uncheck the apply zoom and pan hits like so hit ok finished and we'll repeat the video and there you go so you had remove the rectangle um, the green rectangle hint I, I don't know what to call it but anyway you get the picture so that's how you do it so there you go so those are some tips about zoom and pan more videos to come for all your requests suggestions watch out for your videos I'll be uploading them soon thanks for watching this video check out my youtube partners on my channel as always just have fun see ya